Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have for you part 4.1 of the series Satan's Powers and What to Do About Them by Alice B. Claggett. Part 4.1 is on the topic Satan Wants to be Worshipped. I'm going to read you a quote from the King James Version of the Bible, Revelation 13, verse 4. And they worshiped the dragon, which gave power unto the beast. And they worshiped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? I'm going to read you my comments. First, I'd like to mention that the word Baal, B-A-A-L, or B-A apostrophe A-L, is one of the terms that are used for the devil or Satan. And so, with that in mind, here are my comments. In a recently concluded commotion with the presence of Baal in Los Angeles, I noticed that it was the worshiping of Baal by black magickers or black magicians that made the energy of this being, Baal, strong. When the worship ceased, the power of Baal diminished and then disappeared. So apparently Satan gains his power over us through our seeding or yielding of our own free will to him. I have quite a picture for you here. Baphomet, an aspect of Satan, with a boy and a girl looking up to him. Baphomet, an aspect of Satan. All right, you can see here a seated being, definitely not human, but somewhat humanoid, um, looking a little like a goat with horns and a very stern countenance there, and a young girl and a young boy looking up to him respectfully for guidance, I'm thinking. At the top you can see an inverted star, a star turned upside down. And in the midriff area you can see a caduceus, symbol of the kundalini energy that reaches only as high as the top of the gut brain, the subconscious mind. Um, the combination of the overturned five-point star and the shortened caduceus leads me to think that Satanism involves the foreshortening of the kundalini energy so that it only proceeds through the lower triangle, the first three of the personal chakras. That would mean that it emphasizes the primal drives. It emphasizes uh, death and survival and murder in the negative aspect and uh, protecting oneself from murder or fear of murder, another negative aspect. And in the middle, I'd say sexual strength or lack thereof. And at the top, the third uh, chakra, I'd say desire to dominate others or willingness to be dominated by them. So. In that aspect, it's a truncated or foreshortened version of the power or potential that's capable of being manifested by humankind. That might be why it's indicated as a goat. A goat is just very randy, for instance, and willing to butt anybody to get its way. It's just about anything. Um, and is very powerful, you know, strong for being small. So the positive aspect of the lower chakras might be what um, Satanists admire, I feel. 
What's missing from this picture is the Kundalini extending up through the conscious mind. So people who practice Satanism, just judging from this, the symbolism of it seems to me, might not concentrate very much on their rational minds. Um, they might be paying more attention to their, to their basic drives, I feel. And I have a description to read for you. The image of Baphomet, once allegedly associated with the Knights Templar, that's K-N-I-G-H-T-S-T-E-M-P-L-A-R, of history, is associated with the present-day Church of Satan. I note here that the caduceus, I showed you that caduceus, shown upright in the statue's midriff, and which I take to be the central vertical power current, the kundalini, is at half-mast, it seems to end at the bottom of the rib cage, rather than extending from the base of the torso to the top of the head. That might mean that the energy of Satan is that of the subconscious mind, the gut brain or lower triangle of yogic lore. From this I gather it could be that satanic energy has to do with the energies of the Martian bacterial colonists of the human colon rather than with the distinctly human energy of the conscious minds of human beings. If you go to my website, Awakening with Planet Earth, https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com, you can search for the story of the Martian bacterial colonists of the human colon. There's quite a bit on that. I made first contact with them some years ago, and it's an intriguing story. They're their own separate way of thinking, and there are ten times more of them in our gut brains, in our lower triangle, than there are human cells. And so their influence the influence of their emotions and their culture on our subconscious minds is ten times that of the influence of our own higher minds, more or less. From that I gather that the Martians have had an ongoing alliance with Satan, but that this alliance they had with Satan has faltered in recent years as humans have become more and more conscious of the minds and culture of our Martian bacterial colonists of the human colon. Here, the Martians are falling more into line with the thinking, the higher thoughts of human beings now, I'm very happy to say. That's it for interspecies communication. But I also have another blog on that site to recommend to you. The title is Servant of Baal, that's B-A-A-L, Mental Filter, Clearing the Ancient Genocides. So you can look that one up too if you want to. That's all for now, dear ones. May God bless you and keep you safe and be with you through all your days.